Welcome everyone to another amazing open source video here. GNU bin utils, the utilities for binary, working with binary object. Objects and data, linker, assembler, and all the surrounding stuff is out. Ironically, this mail does not have the full uh, release changes, so th those are here. Changes, including, uh, by the way, let's quickly, uh, this is to recompress and start building that here because nothing like live testing some stuff live on YouTube. Edit support for lots of x86 instructions, RAO, int, uh, AVX, NE, convert, uh, NSR list, uh, VRM, whatever, uh, x86 stuff, so complex. Who knows what it is except AVX of 12, VNNI, int 8, um, IVMA prefetch, um, AMX VP floating point 16. <coughs> but more interestingly, GAS, GNU assembler now supports compressed debug, section set standard, enable default compression, add support for various tiered extensions um, for the different either stuff on all Vinyl D1. Add support for risk 5 set AWRS extension, um, of which what is it even doing? Who knows? Um, risk 5 reduced stuff nowadays um, becoming so complex that you even wait on reservation set. Extension defines a pair of instructions used polling loops allow cores to enter lower power state. Oh, complex stuff. Um, 2023 coming to your risk 5 silicon probably eventually and now in bin utils. Also does that LTO wrapper failed. Uh, hello. Oh, so much to building. Yeah, that sucks. So that is somehow, um, I noticed this is not a new thing. Um, maybe we can work around this somehow. I noticed that already. So what was it? Look up. Um, I only do that live, not only that you see what um, complexities and stuff. We have pe plenty of stuff to test, unfortunately. Um, I also wonder why this stuff always needs to fail like that. Lip pop code dash to the lip. Um, normally this should work, but often doesn't. Is that even the right directory? This is this stuff where you wonder like, oh wait, we, we don't want the, uh, wait a second, is it in, yeah, whatever, let's, yeah. A BFD. Uh, so much to that. Um, bop, bop, bop. But also stupid lip tool stuff. I only do this because I have, I have bigger plans. We have so much to test that I don't want to waste uh, the time. The summary will continue in a second. That works. Yeah, it's a little bit quick and dirty. Wonder if a rebuild will work. So more stuff. Uh, Risk five set F H um, set H in X. Um, Risk five H. So lots of Risk five stuff. Oh, wait, wait a second. Oh, this is two thirty nine already. Oops. Sorry. I, I um, somehow tripped over it. So changes only that. But we have two major regressions. Um, and that, that is the stuff. Not only that. The stuff doesn't install cleanly because libtool is too difficult. Installing some symlinks and libraries, shared objects, somehow different, difficult rocket science in this day and age. But we have um, two major things. One is we had PowerPC64 major assertions, so like regressions, that internal, like it, it built for years and stuff, and on 20 years PowerPC, and, um, and then 2022 last year, somehow the last version started to fail. And additionally, um, it would be interesting to know, so we have basically, do I have... Um, because that is a new installation, I don't have a full build, so it will anyway run for... Yeah, I don't, I don't have that here, but... 
thought I had a config or not no, I mean it's quickly nothing like power pc 64 so power piece power pc uh, nothing like a typo um we need to check if some someone if we if we are lucky someone else because I certainly didn't debug that strange C code um, of theirs generic so what failed was maybe clang so uh, probably that was clang does that include clang well, you know what let's go with that because something big like clang and stuff failed and then power PC maybe I'm not sure if both failed usually that's not the biggest difference it's maybe smart just because so usually I fully automate the stuff but no, built in temp of s because performance 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 and do have towards maybe we should actually default cross if that is different anyway so let's build that here that will take a while and th that is the thing right uh, unit testing I'm basically doing here massive scale unit like epic thread wrapping massive scale um, hyper duper scale testing um, and then the other thing is rsync we only uncovered that recently um, probably we could so rsync does really strange hackery with uh, of all things even with c++ but that's that's not even c++ fault they so they use c++ for their simd vectorization stuff and I mean rsync and then they use this modern um, function or how does it even like is it function attributes and did I hey that works so maybe they fix this so previously this was necessary so this hack was only like 2023 one like this week this week you debug and it took a while to figure out because the problem was that um, rsync was segmentation faulting so maybe they fixed it yay um, for more architectures and I wonder I force here VA copy but I say there for other architectures and cross compile is it a cross compile only thing no I wonder but anyway so it appears that because what happened previously is that um, then rsync is actually the libc linker complaint on startup um, did I mention that here live on YouTube this week I didn't make a, I'm so busy I didn't even make a YouTube video for every small little thing but um, so the binary was basically broken so previous bin utils generate oh wait wait we need um, ah darn did we already uh, probably even on horizon 15 and 50x we probably built so far that we already built bin utils Oh no, we did not. Oh, this, oh, just said it. Okay, stop the development time because we need to delete the overlay. Otherwise, um, let's see what happens. Let's delete these overlays as we want to try the latest. And that's the kind of time-consuming stuff, right? Theoretically, you could theoretically um, op, um, automate this. I say theoretically because um, your system would not know that that needs to be retested, right? I mean do you want to train a general artificial intelligence or do you want to annotate all the stuff of automatically retest with each update or stuff um, that would be two major options otherwise um, yeah how should your testing infrastructure know that this were regressions hotfix quirks and and workarounds that you, you theoretically i mean you could just leave it but then you have like four years until someone notices to come uh, old bin utils version how would you notice with either stuff in a year or, or two three four five years um, or worst case like a decade some some new state-of-the-art code doesn't build anymore with dec then decade old like years old bin utils um, or of course like if you have dedication and attention for detail then check it now um, so yeah this will probably build so yeah stuff is out probably amazing also by the way it has colored out what was it here somewhere um, or maybe I, I by the way mix this continuing there. So compressed debug options um, and Cortex X1 set for ARM. Um, that's probably just as an optimization selection. And GS frame generates S frame unwind information on AMD64 and 
RM64 and was it not somehow, where's the colored output? Color, hmm, I read somewhere, ah, uh, here, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Why is this information different? I mean, also, what is what <laughs> release management? Um, this email has different stuff than um, the news file. Hmm. Whatever, I guess. Okay, they summarized it to more Intel, but S frame because object dump object dump tool now has an option to enhance enhance its disassembly output by showing all of the symbols that match an address instead of just the first symbol and they now have disassembly use colors to distinguish between different parts of each instruction this feature is only supported limited set of architectures at this moment um, so if you are into color syntax highlighting you probably truly love this color disassembly probably aka what took them too long um, as yesterday's video of colored syntax word highlighted and stuff diff and the linker id has now a new command line option to disable the generation of warnings and errors can be useful when it is known that the link was not successful but there should still need to create a binary whatever so yeah that's it for this video this test will run a while and um i probably so how do we i will probably commit this rsync stuff later oh wait we can uh, commit this bin utils And then, of course, I will anyway do a full rebuild because we fixed so much stuff and we will even have, yes, one more thing of attention to detail to take care of improving grub to installation, other small stuff. But also we updated a whole bunch of stuff the last weeks um, so that I will again, probably like a fourth or fifth time, a 24 hour on Ryzen 1750X rebuild, 31 architecture combinations again, yes, a fifth time. Um, to hopefully find a recess ISIS then. <coughs> Excuse me, what a day to recover. Um, been following you a couple of months. Really like this video, even though most of the stuff we talk about is way too complex for me. I mean, I try, I mean, for me, it's of course, I'm happy to hear that for me, it's of course, um, yeah, not only for me, it's tribal, but also at times repetitive. Some of the stuff I just, I even do here a second or third time, but this is just like all the stuff right now. I mean, obviously now I can move on and, and work some other stuff, but um, this build will now run for a while. Um, I'm actually surprised this Arzing builds. I'm really surprised. Um, so yeah, I commit this later. The reason is to give other people a chance. I mean, very theoretically, if you wanted to be super perfect, given that, that at least the last Arzing, uh, the last bin utils breaks Arzing. Very theoretically, if we wanted to be like totally backward and cross compatibility um, compatible, we should even theoretically check like this bin utils version and then do that. But normally in T2, we don't do stuff like that. Like this, this special old version quirk. Um, I would also not argue the problem is it would completely pollute and litter our code and we would have over hundreds of packages full with if this version, that version, then this quirk and that quirk. I would actually um, therefore say if this fails for you then update bin utils. What's going on here now? Um, M GMP, cannot find GMP. Mm. What is that now again? I mean, I know I I saw some updates scrolling by and we had hot fixed this, this STD. Oh, do they have a new release? Not that stuff because I saw they, someone in our Discord posted that they fixed it in similar way that we, how we fixed it. Uh, it's 131, so it's probably unrelated, but um, probably data didn't update this, potentially maybe, unless it was just released also today. Hello. Oh, this artist, I don't know, the targets. Uh, 
Ähm <lacht> mein my throat. Really don't. Yeah, so this is expected. Um, I don't really need to check this because I saw this already in their Git. I'm actually surprised they so quickly uh, have respin this, but this is um, the right thing to do. I'm only surprised because often modern people modern open source people became somewhat lazy like the linux kernel people and not really um okay you know let's like not releasing early and often anymore so this is why I'm, it's the right thing like it's it's majorly broken and even breaks gcc which would call a re major regression so yeah this is um, we need to check what's going on here so that is uh, need to have Oh man, that's kind of a reflex, you probably know that it starts to scratch so much then kind of reflex too. <coughs> oh man. Oops. Aren't you all happy we stopped masking because everything is over? Totally amazing, right? People are so clever. The future of humankind looks bright and stuff. Do not unmount. Build dear. And let's try one more time and see what's going on there. Thanks for the blessings. Um, want to ask T2 development was... Uh, just want to ask if T2 development was your... Why do you mean... Why do you, mean, why do you ask was? Why do you ask in past tense? You mean is? But I mean, it's not really kinder. I mean, it's, it's certainly my um, project. But we also do other stuff right so it's we also do like two because nobody pays much for open source right um but yeah it's we do embedded i founded my company for such kind of embedded virtualization all the other stuff but it's only sometimes paying in a useful way a recurring theme of how to make money with open source so we we also have other stuff so it's like not like my 100 percent day job but certainly trying hard with youtube and making everything amazing and work again and stuff that Maybe, um, not maybe, YouTube and T2 and YouTube and so running stuff becomes more and more a day job again. Um, so yeah, but you can share, like, subscribe, Patreon, like, if you want that this is even more day job than Patreon, YouTube membership, or GitHub sponsorship and stuff. So what's going on here? Um, what is it not finding today? Not a pet advertisement, I just need to drink something. What's failing here? GMPXX. Hmm. It is possible that it's a completely fresh install. Maybe that is a completely fresh install marginality. Hmm. Uh, it's maybe clean this up just because, I mean, I hate this kind of comments, right? I mean, the comment says exactly what this does. If at stage two chain, I mean, how much more, maybe it was my comment, maybe it isn't, I don't know. But um, um, in general, I hate such kind of duplicate comments. Um, this looks relatively, why is this not finding the C++ header? Mm. Somehow always something, did I? I, le I left this already. What was it, GMPXX or stuff? I mean, theoretically it should, yeah, it's Apparently, it is. Hmm, maybe it only accidentally worked when a cross build. Maybe a cross build. Hmm, apparently there's some bootstrap marginality. Hmm. 
Hm. Was ist denn mit Look to Disabled? Was ist denn hier? Sure what's going on there. Good that we test even more. I mean, I this is a completely new installation of my previous, my, my fourth basically iteration test build. Um, somehow there's always something, one more, it's a famous one more thing. Okay, this does not install any headers. Hmm. It does not look super amazing. This has one header, but not the C++ header. So apparently there is some something not perfect. And probably it was broken before, but pr probably previously it was not um, noticed. The way it it is possible that previously it wasn't noticed is that it the compiler then was looking the next uh, search path in the um, path and include chain and then using the system header uh, which oh, what did it wait did it say because it still doesn't have a C++ header um, GMP, did we look into GMP? We looked into, yeah, GMP. <laughs> yeah, GMP XX. So why is this not freaking installed? Um, don't tell me it is a... It is also possible that actually it is not T2's fault and instead is a regression in GMP or we just configure it. It needs an able CXX now, that is also, who knows. But the native build did not just install it right now, so let's see what's going on there. Uh, what is the GMP, right? Nearer, theoretically. Um, extra dist, some extra dist here. Stuff always. A 1CX. Oh, here's 1CX extra. So maybe this now needs that. Maybe it's a configuration. Hmm, maybe it needs this explicitly now. Who knows? It is possible. As it, as it previously builds, I would expect. Um, but this is new. I will um, hard code that <coughs> because we don't have an option for not C++, right? Even even for GCC and certainly LVM Clang, you need uh, C++. So basically, it makes no sense um, to have an option there. If you built an embedded target, you could always Target specifically disable that if you wanted to. Oh wait, what do I build now? I build this natively. Yeah, okay, now we have that. Okay, um, then let's build that again. But yeah, so much win-win here. This is also, if you wonder why do I waste my precious time here live on YouTube, as this is why, because I need to do it anyway. Oh, darn it. What was it? Uh, GMP, right? Did I even build GMP? 
I lost. Uh, and so yeah, that is a nice win-win, right? Not only I, I tested Arsync already, um, updated Binutils tested, tested Arsync with that. Apparently that works now. So probably their bug, upstream bug fixes, um, bugs fixed. And even found just by, and that is even the thing. If I would have, because normally I build, so this is my, my Ryzen 15 or 50X workstation from two plus years ago. And I would normally have rebuilt all of those systems on my 1750X um, and also for performance and stuff. So I would not have even noticed, right? So I would have released T2 with this one, probably could call it bug for not shipping GMP with a vital system, rebuilding vital file. Um, so I guess we could call it a packaging, packagers bug in T2 of not having the C++ header where needed. Um, what did I do here? PPL? Did I even? Wait a second. GM. Ah, GMP. Ah, oh, yeah, I did build this. Yeah. So, and welcome everyone. So, the recurring win win of yes, everything takes time. And yeah, multiply this with 1963 Linux distributions. Um, of which, of course, do your favor, base your Linux distribution um, off of T2 because we package all this stuff and you can still build it selectively with XFCE, KDE, GNOME all of this um, embedded needs and so on. Um, because yeah, as you see, all of the, all the stuff requires quite some work. So actually we did, uh, did I not recently like download config PC? Let's download that in parallel. So that is not always such a delay. And then that was the video. Um, I don't unnecessarily want to continue this live stream. You can, if you, if you just tuned in or, and stuff, you can always watch it, uh, rewind, uh, rewatch the recording, and otherwise, thousands of videos on this and the Moment channel. There, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. GitHub sponsor, Patreon, YouTube membership, and otherwise, have a good day or night, and see you next time. I only need to wait because if, if I just click on stop the last live streams always were cut a little bit. So give YouTube YouTube some seconds to end the live stream. <laughs>